Hi Year 2, today we're going to do another fun art activity. Keep watching this video to find out more. In our last art lesson, we started to learn about Henri Matisse, a French painter. And we looked at how his painting style developed. And we learnt that as an older man, he designed colourful paper cutout collages. There he is at work. And we also looked at one of his famous pieces of work, which is displayed at the Tate Modern in London, called The Snail. And some of you sent in your own versions of that last week, some lovely recycled versions here. So well done to you. And today we're going to look at some more of Matisse's cutouts. Now his collage designs were influenced by different things. He enjoyed looking at plants and gardens. So there's a lot of plant shapes in his work. He also enjoyed music. So some of the shapes represent sound. Much of his work has also got sea life in it. He was also inspired by going to the circus and did many paintings um, about the circus. This particular one is of a trapeze act. And if you look carefully, you can see the two swings that they, the uh, flying trapeze would swing on and they'd swap over and jump over onto the other side. And these yellow squiggles represent the two people that are hanging on the bars and jumping over and catching the other bars. The black squares down below represent the people at the circus looking up and watching the act. And I'm these lots of flowery shapes around here, I'm not sure what they are, but I think they might represent the lights that are shining, shining down and shining up onto the trapeze artists. Now this piece of work here shows just one shape on there, one flowery shape on there, but it's a good example to show how he layered his work. He started off with an orange background, then he added a smaller piece of red paper, then he added his shape, and then he added more detail with the green squares. This is another piece of his work. This was a large piece that went on a big wall and it was called the parakeet and the mermaid. And you can see those plant images again in this. They look a bit like seaweed or coral. And these little blue bits all over there that look a little bit, they might not be, but they look to me like they're butterflies flying around the garden. Can you spot the parakeet and the mermaid? So today we're going to have a go at making our own version of one of his collages. Now I've picked out some of the flowery shapes, but if you want to look back on the video, you can choose something else that you'd like to do. And I've cut them out and I've stuck them down with a glue stick, but you don't need glue, you could just lay them down. You, if you've got coloured paper or card, you could do a version similar to this. If you haven't, you can use newspaper and note paper or magazines and cardboard. You might want to focus on just one shape and make a smaller one and add felt tips to it as well. To make your collage, you will need some coloured paper or card if you have it, a pair of scissors and some glue, although glue isn't necessary. Now, don't worry if you don't have any coloured card or paper, you can always use recycled objects such as newspaper, mm. cardboard from the back of microwave packaging or from cardboard boxes and note paper as well. So you can make a recycled version. Here's how I did mine.
When you're drawing your shapes, your patterns, use two different coloured felt tips. For the big flowery pattern, you can draw it like this, like a smile, then add another prong there, another prong there, and one down the middle. Then, with your other felt tip, draw around the edge. Now, when you get to the end of each prong, make it a bit wider, then come back in, go up, make it a bit wider, come back in, go up, make it a bit wider, up, a bit wider, and up, and a bit wider. Then, when you have your scissors, cut around the outside edge. So I'm following the orange line to get my shape. And then when I glue it down, I'm going to turn it over. So follow the outside line when you cut out, and that way you will achieve that nice curved plant shape. 